What's up, Barney family? Welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys, I'm going to share with you a bunch of Dollar Tree pool noodle hacks. Before we begin, I want to shout out Louisiana woman one on TikTok. I'm 100% sure she really is what popularizing the whole pool noodle lollipop trend. I've been getting tagged in people's DIYs and getting tagged on like people re-uploading her video onto Instagram. So I want to make sure I give her a shout out. I've seen the lollipop done before in years past on Pinterest and on YouTube, but I'm 100% sure she is what's making it really popular this year and a comeback. So I want to make sure. I give her credit and I will link her TikTok down below. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. With that being said, let's begin the video. We're gonna start off with my favorite pool noodle hack. It's one I've done in the past. It's just my favorite thing to do. So with a pool noodle, you are going to take both ends of it and use some duct tape to attach those ends. And what you're doing is you're creating a big wreath form that you can use to make a wreath. You can even make it bigger by attaching two pool noodles together and then taking those ends and attaching them together and you can make an even bigger wreath, like I said. Of course, the pool noodles that I'm using are from Dollar Tree and the duct tape is from Dollar Tree as well. So once you have your wreath form, you can decorate your wreath however you like. You, you can use greenery if you want to, you can use floral pieces if you want to. I'm going to be using ornaments. And you're going to hear me say this word a lot because I was using different ones. And no, I'm not saying or da mint because people always think for some reason I'm saying or da mint but I think it's uh, because of my microphone. I also talk too fast. So I'm gonna start off by using these large red and green ornaments that are from Dollar Tree. And I only had one pack of each one. So I started off by gluing them around the pool noodle. The thing is I was initially trying to take the top of the ornament and pushing it inside of the foam, but it was just, really hard to do so I don't recommend doing that I recommend anytime you glue on one of the ornaments that you put the top of it toward the back of the pool noodle because ain't nobody gonna see it anyway so don't try doing what I did so after I glued those around my little wreath I then started to glue on these medium size green and red balls as well as these mint color ones that Dollar Tree carries. So Dollar Tree carries three different sizes of ornaments. They carry large, medium, and small ones. So the ones I'm using now, I consider medium sized ones. As you glue, you'll figure out the method that works best for you. I started to attach two ornaments together and create pairs. This made it much more easy for them to be attached to the pole noodles. And anytime you glue on an ornament, you want to make sure that you are attaching that ornament to any other ornament that is touching. Always add glue. And like I said, I'm just going to keep hearing this word, but I don't know what other word I'm supposed to use. Like if you took a shot every single time I said it, you're probably going to be like passed out on the ground somewhere. I can say balls, like I'm gluing this ball to this ball and now I'm using this ball and now this ball. But sounds funny. Anyways, next up I am using these little swirly balls. No. <laughs> okay, ornaments. I'm gluing those all around and then I ended up taking the smallest green and red ornaments that Dollar Tree carries and I ended up gluing those down. So I ended up using 12 packs total, one large green one, one large red, two of the peppermint kind, two of the swirly kind, and then two of the smaller kind. Um, also, the smaller ones came with gold ornaments, but I had to get rid of those because I didn't want to use those inside of my pack. Next up, I'm taking some twine and I'm tying it around my pool noodle so that it could be hung on the wall. I recommend doing this before you glue on the ornaments, but I wasn't thinking about it. So that's why you see me doing it now, but I recommend doing it before. And now you have this really pretty wreath. This is my favorite wreath I ever made. It goes so well with my decor. So this is how it looks hanging up on this mirror that I have, but I actually really have it right now hanging in my house between two of my windows and I absolutely love it. I would love to make a jumble one of these someday. Our next pull noodle hack, we are gonna be making big lollipops. So this is another thing that you can use multiple noodles to make it even bigger, but I didn't have enough noodles, so I had to use one. So you wanna get your noodle, and then you wanna get some duct tape from Dollar Tree. They carry different colors. I'm gonna be using some white duct tape for this one, sorry. 
What you are going to do is you're going to take your duct tape and you're just going to wrap it around the pole noodle to kind of make it look like peppermint uh, or just stripes. It doesn't have to look like peppermint if you don't want it to. They have so many different colors at Dollar Tree. I like white because I do like the look of peppermint. Now I do want to shout out Louisiana Woman 1. That's her TikTok. I saw her make some pole noodles using the lollipop. That's her TikTok. I saw her make some pole noodles. That's her TikTok. I that's her TikTok. I saw her make some lollipops using pool noodles. Now, this is not something that hasn't been done before. Auntie Cuckoo on YouTube did it last year using the pool noodles. People have been doing it for ages. I've done it before in the past on my makeup channel, but I'm 100% sure she is what popularized it this year. And I keep getting tagged from some of you guys making the lollipops on my Instagram. So I really want to make sure that I shout it out Louisiana Woman 1 because I'm pop positive she popularized it this year so after you have your pool noodle all wrapped up you want to take it and roll it around so that you can get the foam kind of bent in place for when you either glue it or do what I ended up doing now I used hot glue at first and I don't know how people are able to use hot glue with this it just made a huge mess with the foam I couldn't get it to stay closed you want to put the hot glue hold it in place wait for it to dry when it dried it just unraveled and it looked crazy so instead I'm going to be using zip ties so I had to roll the noodle once again and then I held it in place while my husband used some Dollar Tree zip ties to wrap it around the pool noodle so that it would stay closed as I tried to glue it one more time. It still didn't work. I don't know how people use hot glue with this thing, but they do. I just wasn't having success with it. Instead, what I did is I took my zip ties and I fed them through the pool noodles and then I was able to tie them that way. Granted, one side of the pool noodle you will be able to see zip tie but it depends how you are displaying your lollipop if it's only one part or one side that is visible it's not that big of a deal and on top of that even if you can see both sides through the cellophane that we're going to be using it's not that easy to see the zip ties especially if you're using clear ones like i did and this worked so much better i even took a bamboo skewer to make it easier to make a little hole to feed the zip tie through and then I even used my pliers to pick up the zip tie and it just it worked out 10 times better I didn't have glue everywhere and then the pull noodle unraveling on me and looking a hot mess after I have all the smaller little zip ties fed through the pool noodle I took off the larger one that my husband put on for and my me. little lollipop roll actually stood in place for the lollipop stick I am going to be using the handle to this dustpan that I got at Dollar Tree. Now I went ahead and I poked a hole inside of the foam with a knife and then I fed that pole through the lollipop. Next up you want to get some clear cellophane gift wrap from Dollar Tree and wrap that around the lollipop. You're going to find this near the party supplies. They have them in different colors. I recommend the clear one. You put it around the lollipop, cut it up, and then use something like twine to uh, tie it in place. Below the lollipop, I decided to add some gift ribbon. It's like two for a dollar at Dollar Tree and then one of these bows, which is also two for a dollar. I glued the ribbon on and then I tied the bow around the pole. So at first I was just gonna keep the pole black, but once I got it all done, I was like, no, this thing needs to be white. So I ended up painting the pole white with that cellophane still on there. So I had to like pick it up, make sure I wasn't painting it while I painted the pole white. And it looks 10 times better white. I never pre-plan my DIYs and figure out how I'm gonna create it. So that's why lots of times after I do something, I decide, hey, it would look better this way. For instance, this whole pole thing. I could have painted it beforehand if I really thought about it, but I didn't. So this is how the lollipop came out. You can make a bunch of these and line them up in front of your house and you can make it look like a gingerbread house or like a candy sweet shop house. It would be so cute. I currently have my pool noodle inside of my house. So not outside, but inside and it still looks really nice. Now for our next DIY, Again, you're going to take a pole noodle. I'm going to be using two white ones for this and some duct tape. I got some red duct tape from Dollar Tree and you're going to do the same thing like we did before. You're going to take the duct tape and you're going to wrap it around the pole noodle. I recommend when you're wrapping the duct tape around the pole noodle to mainly move the pole noodle rather than the duct tape around. That way you get the duct tape nice and tight so it's not a bunch of creases and bubbling when the um, duct tape is going around the pole noodle. So roll, like I said, the pole noodle more than you're actually rolling the duct tape around the pole noodle. Don't know if that makes sense, but as with anything, 
You're going to figure out the method that works for you. Next up, I'm going to take a broom pole or broomstick that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm taking the top of it off and placing that at the bottom of the broomstick. The reason I do that is because it will go directly into the ground much more nicely with that at the bottom. And also the things that we're going to be using for this, it'll fit inside of that pole nicely as long as that one piece is removed. So I took that piece off and put it at the bottom of what is now my little peppermint pole. Next up, I'm taking the solar lights. They look like Christmas lights and I am just going to be placing them at the top of my peppermints and now I have these Christmas light poles paired with the lollipops they're so cute there is another youtuber on here called story of my life I'll link her down below for you guys she made a bunch of these and she lined them up along her pathway in her house and it looks so cute so I'll link her down below for you guys if you want to see a bunch of them and the way she did hers for our next hack I'm actually recycling one of the pool noodles I just used because I only had four of them to work with in this video so what I did is I cut one of the pool noodles in half so now I have two pieces of shorter pool noodles now I'm taking some elf shoes and I'm going to be placing the pool noodles inside of the elf shoes I got these ones from Target I don't know if Dollar Tree carries any elf shoes now I did want to stuff it up a bit the shoe so that it looks like a more so a foot's inside of there and I ended up just using some packaging pieces or what is it packaging foam that I got inside of a package from Amazon you can stuff it with a towel if you want to cotton it's up to you once I have it stuffed I went ahead and placed my pool noodles inside and then I stuffed it up a little bit more so that my pool noodles wouldn't be falling out of the shoes what am I gonna do with these you ask I'm gonna put them under my Christmas tree so it looks like an elf is hiding under the Christmas tree and I love this one I actually want to paint it green and if I do it uh, I'll probably show it at the end of this video because I want it to look like the Grinch is under my tree. I um, currently have a Grinch theme to my decor, so that's what I want to do with these things. Like I told you guys, I only had four pole noodles, so I had to reuse one of the light post noodles to do another DIY. So I went ahead and I took the duct tape off of that pole noodle. And I'm going to be using this noodle to make a Christmas tree. So I got a planner pot from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to use this as the base of the Christmas tree then I take my pole noodle and I cut it up and I cut up a piece that's gonna go over the top of that planner I want it to be a little bit bigger so it doesn't just fall inside of the planner and I use some green duct tape that I got at Dollar Tree to attach the pole noodle together so it kind of makes like a wreath form I then take the other piece of the pool noodle that I have left over and I make another type of wreath form but I make it a little bit smaller so that it can go over the bigger one because obviously you want the tree to get smaller the higher up it gets. I wouldn't worry about making the duct tape perfect because it's going to get covered up anyway so I only had enough noodle to make two of those rings but if you have more noodles you can obviously make your tree bigger or use more rings. Next up, I'm going to be taking some garland from Dollar Tree. I ended up using five of these garlands total, and there's 15 feet in each garland. And I'm just wrapping it around my little wreath forms. I recommend cutting the garland into smaller pieces and wrapping it that way, because if you try to take the entire 15 foot piece, it kind of gets annoying because it's so much and it gets in the way when you're putting it through the center of the wreath form. So it's easier to cut it into smaller pieces and wrap it around that way. Since I didn't have any more pool noodles left over, I had two small pieces that I had cut off of the pool noodle when I was making the elf legs. So it was just a little bit that I cut off so that the elf legs would fit inside of my Christmas tree. So I took those two pieces and I shoved them in the middle of the top wreath form that I made and then I took more garland and I was just wrapping it around those two pieces and I kept wrapping and wrapping until I made the top of my Christmas tree if you have more pool noodles like I said you can just do a bunch of circles and do make them smaller and smaller the closer you get to the top of the tree also when I'm editing this video I just noticed that Matt put Cooper's face inside of the camera poor little baby so you want to put something inside of the planter I'm gonna be using stones from Dollar Tree and you want to fill it up quite high because you don't want this to be top heavy and if it's top heavy there's nothing inside of the planter the trees gonna keep falling 
on top of you. So you want there to be something in the inside. It doesn't have to be stones. It's just what I used. After that, I put glue around the rim of the planting pot. And then I placed the tree on top of there. So first I started off with the bigger wreath form. I placed that on top of there. I added more glue on top of that wreath form. And then I placed the smaller wreath form on top of that. You can add more glue in different areas to secure it up a little bit more if you like. You can leave it at just that. I decided to add my favorite word, ornaments to this. So I'm using some Santa Claus clothes looking ones that I got from Dollar Tree. And again, those little swirly ones. I added those and then I added some green glittery ones from Dollar Tree and some small little gold ones. I then decided I wanted to add some little flowers to this. So I got these little poinsettias from Dollar Tree. I took them off of the main stem and I glued them to my tree. It's very similar to what I did to my regular Christmas tree this year. I used Dollar Tree poinsettias. I didn't glue them to the Christmas tree, but I just took them off of the main stem and I placed them all throughout my tree. Next up, I take a bow from Dollar Tree and I just glue that to the bottom of the Christmas tree. And then this is what I came up with. Like I said, you can make a bigger tree if you want to. And I actually ended up ordering some pool noodles from Amazon because I'm making more of these. I think they go so well outside with my Christmas decor that's already out there. So I want to make some more that I can place outside. This was inexpensive for me to make. So I'm looking forward to making more of these. I hope you guys enjoyed all of these Dollar Tree pool noodle hacks. They don't have to be pool noodles from Dollar Tree. Just FYI, it's just their pool noodles that I found at Dollar Tree. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. Yes, I'm not saying ornaments. I think my microphone just picks it up like I'm saying mints. Also, I talk too fast, but I'm not saying ornaments. I'm saying ornaments.